Hi there, I'm Jose Rosenberg, chef and restaurateur. We're cooking with Binsk this morning. We're doing some fun recipes, simple, easy things you can do at home, but also restaurant worthy. So we're gonna start with a warm spinach salad with some bacon, pine nuts, goat cheese, and we're utilizing the Binsk uh, wildflower honey and the lemon olive oil to make the dressing. There's two things you have to do first. You wanna pickle the red onions and you wanna get, it, get your bacon crispy. So we're gonna get the bacon in a pan, we're gonna get the onions pickling, and then we're gonna put the salad together. My friends at Tender Belly provided this, uh, but you can go to any good grocery store and buy some nice bacon or come by our butcher shop in Boulder. We're gonna save all the bacon fat that's gonna be part of the base of the dressing. Now I'm gonna do the pickled red onion. This is something you can actually do days ahead. So I have a peeled red onion, I cut it in half, and I'm gonna make little, uh, what we call French cuts, little julienne slices. These are gonna go in a pot with some vinegar, water, and sugar, and a pinch of salt. Some red vinegar. I like the red wine vinegar because these onions turn kind of pink after it's done. We got about two tablespoons of sugar. I've got a perfect measuring spoon. It's called my fingers. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Let it cool for a couple hours. You can even do it the day before, put it in your fridge. The other ingredients we have are the salad, toasted pine nuts. So if you can't find toasted pine nuts, buy raw pine nuts, put them in the oven. About 350 for four or five minutes. You just wanna watch them stir them around a little bit until they get evenly browned. This is a local goat cheese. You want plain goat cheese, but a recipe like this, uh, I even wrote it down, add whatever you want. This is the way I like it, but you can add dried fruit, other nuts. You can put a different cheese on there. Something like this is not set in stone. The fun about cooking is that you can make it your own. Okay, this bacon is nice and crispy now. Pull the cooked bacon out of the pan and set it aside so we can garnish our salad with it. But we wanna keep most of this bacon fat right here in the pan because that's gonna be the base for a dressing because why not? Everything is better with bacon. I know you can't smell this out there, but it's delicious. We're gonna leave this bacon fat in the pan what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little vinegar, some red wine vinegar, a little bit of Dijon mustard, some of the Binsk honey. I'm doing two capfuls. That looks good. And I'm putting in three dropperfuls, which is about another 10 milligrams of the lemon olive oil. So we're gonna get this dressing just mixed up, nice and hot. So we're gonna just bring this back to a boil and we're gonna pour it over the spinach, toss it really quickly and serve. So your total recipe here has 20 milligrams, which is gonna be five milligrams per, per, per person if there's four people. If you wanna go lighter, there's two ways to do it with the THC. You can either put less of the ingredients in the dressing, or you can just not use all of the dressing and save some for later. Those go right on top of the salad. They're kind of crunchy still, but they're tart and sweet and we serve. That's it. So we've got a warm spinach salad with bacon, pine nuts, goat cheese, pickled red onion, and the dressing is made with the Binsk wildflower honey and the Binsk lemon infused olive oil. Bon appetit.